Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna be sharing some online tips that I have for you guys if you are doing online school. One thing before I get started, I did have a little bit of an accident on my bike the other day. And if you watch my next video, there'll be a whole little story time with it. But I had a little accident on my bike yesterday and I got scraped up in a good amount of places and one of them was my elbow. So if you see me like adjusting my hair and you see two scrape things on my elbow, don't worry. It's just like a scrape, it's fine. But anyways, let's just get started with my tips. And my first tip is to get a good space to do your Zooms or Google Meet, whatever you're doing. And it should be a space where you don't usually spend like a lot of time so that it doesn't seem like, you know, like it's not your gaming space and it's not your school space it should be kind of like dedicated to school so that you're not tempted to do the things that you usually do in that space like play video games or whatever it should also have good lighting and it should be in like a room or something that has privacy and not a lot of sound and distractions this will definitely benefit you and your classmates on zoom and stuff because it'll distract your classmates and your teacher if there's like people walking around and a lot of sounds even if you're on mute and there's just stuff going on behind you but it'll also help you so that you can stay focused and actually continue continue to learn while you're on Zoom. The second thing is to try to work at a desk and not like in your bed or something because it'll definitely help you be more productive and it'll just be a nicer space to work. And if you are working at a desk, make sure your desk is decluttered and all like your unnecessary non-school things are not on the desk there to distract you and only have the things that you need for school on your desk in front of you. And obviously for online school, you're gonna wanna have something to do your online school on, which could be a laptop, iPad. It could be your phone, but it would be better if you had something else. Make sure that you have the Zoom app installed if you're using Zoom. If you have like a MacBook or something to declutter it, put stuff in folders and not make it so messy. Another tip for that is if you have Canvas, which I know a lot of schools are using this year, you can actually customize like the color of the little tiles for your classes, which is really nice. So you can make it any type of like aesthetic as you want. So all you have to do is go to Canvas and then you'll see the tiles and then in the top right corner, there's like three dots I believe and you can click on that and then you can also rename your classes so you can make it simpler because I know mine before said like the whole class name and then the teacher and then the period and a bunch of random things so you can just rename it to just the simple like math or something and then you can also change the color there's already colors there but if you just go to Google and type color selector you can get any color and then you just see down there the little hashtag with the letters and numbers just copy and paste that into the canvas color thingy and it'll show up on your tile so yeah that's basically how you customize the tiles to make them more unique to you you probably are also gonna need some other supplies to do school such as like paper pencils pens highlighters all that kind of stuff so make sure you get the supplies that you need I know for my school our school gave us like a recommended list of supplies and then all the individual teachers gave us stuff that they wanted us to have so make sure you listen to those and read your syllabi so that you know what all the classes want you to like have there is one piece of school supplies that I I recommend like the most kind of and that is a planner it can be any planner it can be a bullet journal a planner your school gave you or one you pick out from like Target or something you're just gonna want a planner because I guess when you're at home it kind of feels different than at school so if you have a planner it will definitely help you like remember to do assignments more my school gave us a planner but I also do a bullet journal so what I do is I use my school planner for like school stuff and then my bullet journal for YouTube and just life stuff it's really helpful to plan out your life especially when you're doing online school. I think it just helps more than to not have a planner. If your school is like me and you're all online or hybrid right now, your school probably has a little bit of a different schedule than what it would be in person. So if your school does have a different schedule and they gave you like a little sheet or they sent it in an email or something showing the schedule, print that out. Either print it out or like write it down somewhere where you can access it easily so that when school like starts or you just forget what time the period start because for me it was a little different. If you do you get binders notebooks or folders for your classes make sure to label them because you're not at school with a locker if your school has them and you can't just like go to your locker and stack them in like order or whatever my point is make sure you label all your dividers and binders and notebooks folders for all your classes just so it makes it easier for you to access and know which is for what class another tip for online school is to make sure you take breaks in between so you don't tire yourself out and if you're like my school where zooms you have like a four minute 
minute passing time between Zooms. Obviously that's a little break, but it's kind of hard because you still want to be able to get onto your next Zoom on time. But if you're doing independent days like me, I have some independent days, or if your Zooms are like more spaced out or something, just make sure you take breaks to get up, stretch, get a snack, walk outside, do something so that you're not just sitting at your desk in your room all day. Make sure you have some kind of drink and probably snack by your desk so that you can always stay hydrated. For me, some teachers on Zoom are okay with us eating as long as we're not like crunching into the mic. And then some of the teachers are like, you cannot eat. It's like if you're bringing food into class or something. So I always take advantage of that and I always eat a snack in the class that the teacher will let us eat a snack. I will eat a snack. One thing that I would suggest you get if you're doing like all online or even hybrid is some blue light glasses. So I did show these in my last video, which was a vlog when I got these glasses, but I definitely recommend getting blue light glasses because if you're gonna be staring at a screen all day for multiple days a week, your eyes will probably get tired and worn out from the like blue rays or whatever they're called coming out of your screen, but it also could give you headaches and stuff. So blue light glasses really help. I have this brand, T-I-J-N from Amazon. I did link these in my last video, but I can link them in the description of this video as well. I got the clear rim so that they didn't like pop out too much obviously. They do have a little bit of a like yellower tint to the lenses because I don't know that's just how they work but they have a little bit of a tint but when I wear them I can't really tell. I also wear these when I edit on my computer because usually I edit for like a good amount of time so these help a lot but I think that is all the tips I have for you guys today. If you have any questions or you want more tips or whatever for online school just comment them down below and I will do that for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!